nothing quite like that first fall morning of fishing. The temperatures have dropped, got a little fog on the water. To me, that says top water. And one of my favorite baits is the Stanley Ribbit. That's why. How I'll fish it is simply Texas rigged with no weight. I'll use a 5 op Gamakatsu EWG hook, push it in past the uh, nose and past the barb of the hook, bring it out the bottom of the frog, spin it back around and pull that knot inside the frog, bend your frog, push the hook all the way through, and you want it skin hooked on the top so that when that fish bites it, takes just a little bit of pressure to pop it loose and your frog should hang perfectly straight just like that. I'm throwing this bait. I always want to use braided line because there's no real advantage to using mono or fluorocarbon plus the low stretch makes your hook sets considerably easier. I also want to use a higher speed reel. In this case it's 7 to 1 because it's easier to keep the bait on top of the water. You don't have to crank as hard. And then you're going to want to medium heavy to a heavy rod. Uh, I like the medium heavy from the standpoint that does allow that fish to suck that bait down a little bit easier. Uh, with the braided line you don't get any stretch so uh, sometimes you can take it away from them if you get in a hurry. One of the things people complain about a lot on buzz frogs is how many fish they miss. That's generally caused by using the wrong line. Well, there's a prime example, and what you'll see is that that fish was smaller, had the backs of it, and I set the hook too fast. But most of the time, you'll avoid that problem by using the right line and waiting on that fish once he hits it to get turned and have the bait good in his mouth. That's a prime example of setting the hook way too fast. But they will come back. You'll notice the slight hesitation there, which allowed him to get it in his mouth and get in the boat. And you can see it's deep in his mouth. Now, let's see if we can do that again. things I really like to do with a frog this time of year is throw that all the way to the shore or even actually just a little up on the shore and hop it off. It's a much more natural looking approach and a lot of times in the fall the fish are right on shore so they'll hit it as soon as you move it. Here's your cue fish. Inflow pipes such as this one are often a spot that fish will sit and ambush prey. Never pass up a bite.
sometimes it's not even too late. following that bait, but he didn't take it. If that one to do that, you're always going to want to throw it back. Slow it down a little bit. Get right back on it. One common problem you will run into with the, any of the buzz frogs is that occasionally you'll have shark strikes. Fish will come up and blow up on it but not actually have the bait in his mouth. Often it's a matter of your color choice and if you're getting a lot of those strikes and if you're getting a lot of short strikes simply change colors and you'll see that the fish uh, will start taking the bait fully in their mouth. For example, uh, I was throwing a white one in a tournament at uh, Ross Barnett and had maybe 20 strikes without them taking it. I went to a June bug colored bait and instantly started catching the fish. Don't know what the difference was, it's just a matter of changing uh, colors to adapt to what the fish wanted that particular day. I typically will make a drastic change, uh, like that time going from white to a, a dark baited June bug. Uh, if I was throwing a dark bait and they were doing it, then I would uh, normally go back to a lighter white bait. White's my favorite color. And as you can see from this morning, the fish like it too. One other thing you'll notice is that using braided line, the hook points will bend out and start to point up. Once one does that, you really should change it out. Uh, that slight change in angle, and we're only talking about maybe a sixteenth of an inch, will make the fish start to come off. 